The Green Street Bunker at West End, Townsville, Queensland, Australia is also known as the Sydney Street Bunker and Project 81. It was built by the Royal Australian Air Force during World War II. The erection of the Green Street Bunker Project 81 at the end of Sydney Street in West End was approved on 12 March 1942. The road up Castle Hill was closed to traffic on about 12 March 1942 to ensure the construction of military facilities such as this bunker were not obvious. The bunker was completed about 12 weeks later. The bunker was fully air-conditioned during its use in World War II. Topic. Buildings, rooms There were 17 buildings at Project 81 as follows. One guard room. Two old dilapidated weather board cottage, airman's quarters. Three prefabricated hut G.I. Roof, Met store room. Four latrine. Five G.I. Shed. Six weather board building G.I. Roof general offices. Seven canteen. 8 WAAF Mess Room 9 Airmen's Mess Room 10 Guard House 11 Latrines 12 Air Conditioning Plant 13 Area Operations Room and General Offices 14 Photographic Intelligence Section 15 GI Shed 16 Weather Board Building GI Room 1725 yard range mounted as believed that the bunker was used as number 24 squadron RAAF headquarters and by the RAAF operations and signals group intelligence the building 120 feet by 60 feet was built like a fortress with enormous thick walls and roof it was apparently capable of sustaining a direct hit with minimal damage the rooms in the bunkers were used as follows Emergency power plant Intelligence officer Meteorological officer Meteorological room Navigation officer Crew room Operations room Cipher room Signals office Receiving room Signals officer Men's lavatory Telephone exchange Strong room to other rooms separated by a walkway were Fan room Condenser room Topic. Construction 600 cubic yards of concrete and 50 tons of reinforcing steel was used to construct the Green Street Bunker. Four timber buildings were located nearby and one was located on top of the bunker to give it the appearance of a domestic residence from an enemy aerial view. The bunker was well camouflaged and camouflage netting would have been attached from the roofline of the bunker. The bunker also had its own very large electricity generating plant. A small separate building at the end of the bunker and adjacent to the generator room, housed the air conditioning plant. It had a sunken floor and you would walk down a small flight of stairs into the room. Topic. Staff accounts WAAAF Helen Ina Sutta worked in the With T Station, Townsville and 12 Signals Unit in Northeastern Area Command Headquarters in Sturt Street, Townsville. On a few occasions Helen was taken by tender on duty to a secret abode possibly the Green Street Bunker. Over the years various reports of secret bunkers and tunnels in Castle Hill and Mount Louisa have been received including a tunnel near the Green Street Bunker. Another one of the many rumors about secret tunnels in Castle Hill suggested that there was an entrance in the floor of the Green Street Bunker. In 1985 a section of the floor of this bunker was dug up in a forlorn attempt to find the secret tunnel. 
In the early 1960s this complex was used as the 10 Squadron Radio Section Workshop. This was while a new building was being constructed at the Garbett Base near the end of the main runway. The new building was occupied in early 1964. Squadron LDRK Fraser the senior radio officer lived in the house on top of the building with his family during this time. Topic. SES Center The Townsville City Council purchased the Green Street Bunker from the Department of Defense in about October 2001 for $50,000. In March 2001, the Townsville and Thuringoa Councils approved a joint five-year plan for a $839,000 upgrade of the old bunker. This included repairs to the leaking roof, internal and external renovations, painting, new carports and the installation of a new generator. This was an initiative of the Townsville and Thuringoa Counter Disaster Committee. The Townsville Amateur Radio Club have occupied the upstairs section for many years. Topic: Other buildings. The Commonwealth government hired a some premises at 63 Stagpole Street in West End that were possible used for NCO quarters. The sites of 35 and 33 Stagpole Street was possible used as officers' quarters and mess. A bunker of identical design to the Green Street bunker, but with an external buttress bomb blast wall was built as the Operations and Signals Building message center at Ramsey Street in Garbett. Number 2 U.S. Air Command, possibly under the command of Brigadier General Martin F. Scanlon, USAAF was located in that bunker. <laughs> 